Anaconda, Part 3, Create Virtual Environment. This video is a third in a series of videos introducing Anaconda. It deals with how to create a separate environment from the base environment. So what is a virtual environment? Anaconda uses separate environments, commonly known as virtual environments, to keep different versions of software separate for each project. This tool isolates each project and helps manage each project software or package dependencies so that they do not interfere with another project's dependencies. This makes each project self-contained and makes it easier to share your project with others. Anaconda comes with Conda, which has two functions. One, a package manager, and two, an environment manager. Conda uses separate channels, which allow for specialization in managing software packages. While this video uses a package manager, its main emphasis is on Conda's second function, creating a separate environment from the Anaconda base environment. Outcomes? Or what you should be able to do after watching this video. Create a Conda virtual environment. Select a different channel for your package downloads. Download packages into your virtual environment. Verify your virtual environment works. And then finally delete a Conda virtual environment. Requirements. An Ubuntu 22.04 computer with a GNOME or KDE desktop an internet connection, Anaconda installed in Ubuntu, and downloaded files from Anaconda Part 2 demo data set in Jupyter Notebook, a previous video in this series. Additional info. The next three slides contain additional sources of info, a list of the software used in making this video, and a disclaimer. If you wish, you can stop this video to read the slides. After you get familiar with the Anaconda package, you may want to create your own virtual environment different from the base environment. For example, you may want to use a later Python version than the 3.9 version that came with Anaconda. The best way to do this is to create a new Conda virtual environment. So let's go ahead and start to do this. Control Alt T to get a terminal. Conda, activate. In order to do this, I'll use Conda create dash n for name, new underscore virtual environment. So it says uh, a newer version of Conda exists. Let's update it. Copy this right here. Don't copy that dollar sign. Copy. Proceed, we say no, and for no, exiting, paste this down here, and then hit enter. Proceed, Y for yes. So now that's done, I'll just hit the up arrow key twice. So now let's go ahead and create my new VNV virtual environment, and then proceed yes this time. So now it's done. If I want to do a list of what's in the base environment, I'm going to go conda list, and you would see a large number of packages that have been installed. But let's go see what's installed in my new virtual environment. To get to that, I would have to do a conda Activate new venv and I do a conda list here, and you'll see I don't have anything in there. So I want to install a later version of uh, Python in this environment, and so I could do to find out what later versions are available conda search Python. So I look down here and my latest version is Python 3.10.4. However, this is on the default Conda channel. There's another channel called 
Conda Forge, which is a community developer channel that provides the latest Conda packages for a wide range of software, including Python. So let me search on that channel. So I will do a Conda's search dash C for channel, Conda Forge channel, and then Python. Here I find I've got a later version of Python, 3.10.6, and since I want to play around with this virtual environment and make it use the latest software I can, I'm going to say conda install dash c for channel, conda forge, python equal 3.10.6. Six and hit enter. That's the final proceed. Y for yes. So now Python's installed. Now I want to install the packages, all the packages I need to run my Jupyter Notebook application. And in order to do that, it's really not a good idea to install each package separately but to install them all at the same time. So if there's a dependency problem, Conda will tell you. So I'm going to paste in all my packages and Cython, Seaborn, which uh, actually has dependencies, NumPy, Pandas, and Matplotlib. And so it will install that. And then SymPy and some Excel stuff. Hit Enter. And like I said, if there's a dependency issue, install all of them together, it will tell you. And if you notice, I am also getting these from Conda Forge, which comes in with some later software. Proceed, yes. So now all of those are installed. Now one thing I didn't install was Jupyter Notebook. And there are several ways to go about how to deal with that, but I'm going to basically do one of the simplest methods, and I'm just going to install it. Conda install con, Conda forge notebook. Whoops, I forgot to see for channel. Sorry about that. Dash C. Proceed, yes. Okay, Jupyter Notebook is installed. Now, before I can go ahead and actually run everything and make everything work correctly, I need to get out of the Conda environment and start my terminal again. So I would do Conda deactivate, and I'm back to base. And again, I would do Conda deactivate. So now I'm just going to exit the terminal and then control alt t restart it get into my conda environment conda activate now i want to get into my new virtual environment that i created but i kind of forgot what it's called so i can go to conda env list and there it is new underscore venv i'll go to conda activate new underscore venv so now i'm in the new venv environment where i've installed jupyter notebook and everything so now i want to go to jupyter project uh, where i created a jupyter notebook in anaconda part 2 demo data set in jupyter notebook and i'll go cd jupyter projects hit enter and now I'm ready to start Jupyter Notebook and see if everything still works in this new virtual environment. Jupyter Notebook. Sometimes it takes a while to open up the Firefox web browser. So right here's the notebook. Uh, data frame Richie's 
IPYNB. Open that up. Now, if you'll notice that in my virtual environment, I installed Python 3.10.6, I believe. And here's Python 3.9, the version. So I've got to kind of update this. And the way to do that is go up here to Kernel, Restart and Run All, Restart and Run All Cells. And in a minute, everything has been restarted and run. And now I'm at Python 3.10.6. Everything should be working in this environment, including any updated copies of uh, Pandas, Matplotlib, and uh, Regex. So let's go down and see if it kind of looks the same. I'm not going to go over this again. Yep, looks like pretty much everything's working in it. Okay, so now I'm ready to quit. I'm going to go to File, Save and Checkpoint. The reason for Save and Checkpoint is because Jupyter will save your notebook every 120 seconds to a checkpoint file without changing your primary notebook file. When you click on Save and Checkpoint, both the notebook and checkpoint files are updated. So that's updated. File, close and halt. I'll close the browser now. Control C to close the Jupyter Notebook server. Type in Y for yes. So we created a new virtual environment with some updated software and everything seems to be working in it. Now if I want to remove this virtual environment, first I have to deactivate it. Conda deactivate and then I would say conda env remove dash name new env okay and so now when I do a conda env list you'll s whoops now when I do a conda env list you'll see that it's not there. So that's pretty much it for an introduction into creating a new virtual environment. Thank you for watching this. If you have any questions on this video, please ask them in the comments below. Also, if there is a video you would like to see made, please let me know. While I can't promise anything, I will try and look into it. Cheers.